हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम इथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल जी एन एस थ्री नेटवर्क सिमुलेशन सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन मैकबुक आई दर इट इज मैकबुक एयर एम वन एम टू और एम थ्री ओके सो यू जस्ट नीड टू गो टू द जी एन एस थ्री डॉट कॉम एंड यू हैव टू साइन इन टू डाउनलोड द फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर सो यू कैन सी दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज फ्रीली अवेलेबल फॉर विंडोज मैक एज वेल एज क्लिनिक्स so if you want to download it for macbook just click on macbook just in front of macbook you can see download option just click here log in if you already have account i have already had an account so i will just log in okay so you have to log in through your account if you have created if you are new you have to create a account okay and then once you log in you can download it from here so you can see click on the download button downloading will start it so it's asking you do you want to allow you just allow it so once you allow it the downloading has been started and you can see this will download gns3.dmg file once this file will be downloaded okay so once you, this file will be downloaded you need to install it okay but before that you need to you need to go to security and privacy option in the apple store and you have to give some permission so let's have a look here this is the file double click on that file and see what is happening open see gns3 app must be moved to the application before it can be used okay so drag and drop it to the application okay so i'm just waiting for the and let's go to the app store Okay, no, not not to the App Store. Okay, you need to go here, the launch pad, and let's have a look whether GNS3 is here or not. So you can see GNS3 here. Now you can double click here, and see it's click on open, open. So just follow the instruction. It's asking. you bridge requires root permission to search yes so all admin users on the system will be able to read packet from the network interfaces so set root permission yes now you have to type your password here whatever the password of your macbook okay remember this here you have to type the password of your macbook okay and done now you can see run application in virtual machine next click on next and then next so you can see vmware must uh, vmware vm run tool could be found okay so if you have a vmware software virtual box software you can just give the path okay so i am just giving virtual box okay okay i have to install it for go back actually we have to install it for local host and not for the local host and not for the virtual machine okay run appliance in the virtual machine run appliance on my local server you have to select this option run appliance on my local the local computer okay don't select the uh, top one otherwise you have to install gns3 vmware then click on next 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 finish and done now your gns3 is ready to use you can close this one and now you can utilize this gns3 machine so here you can see you can create a new project here suppose project you can give a name project click on okay it will settle down and then you can take two computers here 
and you can combine them you can connect them using the cables if you want to zoom you can zoom it in your macbook and you have to go to the green button start button click on start yes and once you click on start it will take some time to be green are you sure you want to start all the devices sorry uh, we have to click on yes yes and you can see now it's green all the ports are green now you can assign ip address whatever you want okay so suppose i want to assign ip address to this so what i need to do i need to go to the console okay so if you have a mouse it will be better to use your mouse while you are configuring gns3 while you are working in gns3 okay so things become easy for you then click on console okay okay so now you are on console on pc one then assign the ip address uh, i have already shown you how to assign ip address on the pc in the gns3 machine so ip we have to run the command here ip first close this one ip okay, let's wait and type the question mark or sorry ip suppose 1.0.0.1 IP address subnet mask 255.0.0.0. If you have router, you can also set gateway IP. But if you don't have router, you don't need to set the gateway IP. IP address is enough. Now, if you want to check the IP address, so the command show IP command. And you can see we have set the IP address 1.0.0.1 on this machine. Similarly, go to the PC2, click on console. And you can see here is the PC2. So this is left hand side PC1, right hand side PC2. On PC2, I am going to assign IP address IP 1.0.0.100 suppose. Subnet mask 255.0.0.0. Okay, then this will assign the IP address on PC2. You can check the IP address using show IP command. And you can see 1.0.0.100. Now from 100, you want to ping 1.0.1 IP, you can ping and test for the communication. So ping 1.0.0.1. I'm running ping command to test the communication between these two PCs, PC1 and PC2. So you can see the communication is going on, ping is successful. Okay, so when I'm pinging, the ping is successful. And once the ping is successful, it means everything is correct and you don't need to worry about this. So I hope you guys understand how to configure or how to download and install GNS3 on MacBook Air M1, M2, M3 and use it. Thank you. Thank you for watching.